Hello everyone, today I will be reviewing a Bakugan B3 Baku Flip starter pack. I got this starter pack off of eBay and the reason I specifically chose this one out of all that I could buy is because of, uh, well, all three of these Bakugan actually. All three of these Bakugan, the Cosmic Ingram, the Spindle, and the Mega Brontes, are relatively common Bakugan in New Vestroia, all of them. Um, however, it is very rare to find them in these attributes, in this special treatment, back of flip. I have never seen this Cosmic Ingram or Mega Brontes in this treatment. I might have seen this spindle before, but regardless, it wasn't a very common starter pack. Now, the reason I'm making a video about it is because, honestly, this is such a beautiful starter pack and these Bakugan are so beautiful that I almost don't want to open it at all and just leave it sealed. But first of all, this pack isn't in the greatest shape anyway. And I plan on adding these Bakugan to my collections, so I am going to open it. But I want this video to be out so that I can always at least see what this looked like when it was still sealed. So here we have a Ventus Cosmic Ingram, an Aquas Spindle, and a Chaos Mega Brontes. Now, as with all starter, our starter packs, you can see one of the Bakugan's G Power is uncovered. In this case, it is the Spindle. And I'm not sure if you can see there, but it has 600 Gs. Which is a very, uh, it's like the most average G power you could have in New Vestroia. It's not, uh, low by any means, but it's also nowhere near high. Uh, which is fine, I'm not, uh, mad about that. And the fact is, most spindles actually have mechanical issues anyway. So I don't expect this spindle to be one that I would be able to use, even if I wanted to. Uh, if it works perfectly fine, that's even better. Who knows, it might find its way in my collection, it might not. This class, Cosmic Ingram, depends greatly on its G power, which is covered here. Although I'm tempted to add it to my collection anyway, because with this dark green paint, and the, the red and the wings and the eyes, uh, this is an absolutely beautiful bag of gun. And I'm sure I will add this Mega Brontes to my collection as... Brontes is my favorite Bakugan, and Chaos is my favorite attribute. So, I'm going to begin opening this pack now. Well, Brontes came out. I'm actually going to put him aside because I don't want to know what his G-Power is right now. So, before we get to the Bakugan, I'm going to go to the cards first. I've not seen them yet. Now, I don't even know if this starter pack is an English starter pack. These might be foreign cards. I won't be mad if they are, uh, but if they are English cards, uh, then I would be glad to add them to my binders if there's one that I don't have. So the rule book, which I have at least uh, 495 of, and refuse to get rid of any of them. Let's see, uh, all these split cards are always stuck together. Okay, so let's see what we have. It looks like these are English cards, so that's great. We have Power Card Zeta. It is a green card that says, Play at the beginning of the game. While this card is in a used pile, all Aquas, Ventus, and Chaos Bakugan get the gate attribute bonuses only if they have the lowest printed G power. I do have this card. It's Power Card Beta that I need. Uh, but this is still a very, very interesting card, and it can be very competitive. It's a very good card. Copper Launcher. You know, I actually don't think I have Copper Launcher yet. I think I did need this. So Copper Launcher is a blue card. It says, play during a battle, your Bakugan gains G power based on its attribute. If the Bakugan is at a, if the battle is at a Copper Gate or Bronze Gate, uh, the terminology always changes depending on which card you read. But uh, generally it's referred to as a Bronze card. If the battle's at a copper gate, your Bakugan gets this card's bonus twice. It gives 80 to Pyrus and 100 to Darkus. 
So this will certainly become my new standard blue card for my darkest hands. Because this is a very good card for a darkest. Next we have Water Wind. And I'm not entirely sure if I have this one yet. I'll have to go check. Uh, play after you roll and stand a Ventus or Aquas back gun. You may move any standing back gun to any gate card. That is actually very interesting. I believe these are all wind cards. So there's like four or five of these cards. You know, this one is Water Wind, so it's for Aquas and Ventus. But I'm pretty sure there's like Fire Wind and, and things. I actually think I have Fire Wind. And there's, and there's some other ones too. They all are essentially the same thing, this red card. But a uh, very interesting card, and especially uh, for Ventus, I think this could be really useful. It's almost like Shun's Launcher in a way. Uh, in fact, this is exactly like Shun's Launcher, except a little bit downgraded, although it also works for Aquas. Shun's Launcher, you don't have to stand. It's just before you roll, I believe. Uh, anyway, moving on. Tri-Color Boost, a bronze card. I do think I needed this card. What a coincidence. I don't need uh, that many cards, but this pack has a few that I did. This is a bronze card that says, Bakugan owned by players with at least three different attributes in the game get plus 150 G power. It looks like it benefits mostly Ventus with 250, and then Pyrus with 200, and then it drops off greatly from there. Uh... I'm not against this. I am not a multi-attribute user myself, although it can be fun sometimes to just say screw it and build a mixed attribute hand. Uh, so this card would be good for that. I might use it. I certainly like the design of the Ingram. Next we have a gold card, Light in the Dark. I do definitely have this card as I have really any card that is meant for chaos. It says, well, this is uh, meant for chaos, but it's also meant to uh, be used against chaos as well. Uh, I mostly like it because of the chaos freezer in the background. Chaos freezer is actually very rare and hard to come by in real life. This gold card says, if there is a chaos Bakugan at this battle, each Pyrus and Aquas Bakugan gets plus 300 G power. Now, there is at least, and I say at least, one card for every attribute that is just like this. Uh, where one or two attributes will have z like uh, little to no Gs uh, given to them. Sometimes it's around 40, but other times you see here both are zero. Um, and there's there's plenty of cards that work just like this. Like So this uh, benefits you if you use Chaos, because it gives you the highest bonus, which is 200. Although, assuming you use this card all the time, there's a chance that if you run into someone who's using uh, Pyrus or Aquas, this actually ends up benefiting them a little bit more. So next we have a silver card, which is our last card in this pack. It is Tidal Breeze. And per its name, it mostly benefits Aquas and Ventus. Ventus getting 160 Gs, Aquas being the highlighted bonus that gets 150 Gs. I do have at least one of these. I think I have a couple, though. A lot of, uh, Ventus Bakugan in the cards of this pack. Especially uh, Altair, because Water Wind features Altair as well, and Power Card Zeta. All these uh, cards feature Altair in the artwork. This is Meta Altair, but same difference. So now that we got the cards out of the way, it's time to move on to the Bakugan. The first of which that I want to review is the Spindle, because I already know it's G Power. So first I'm going to close the spindle. Let's see how well he opens. It actually it looks like the spindle opens perfectly, which is uh not very common for them, but I am glad that it happens. So let's open them up. What I like about these uh, Baku Flip Bakugan is how sparkly they are, because it's always the Bakugan's uh, secondary color. And with Aquas, in this case, it is uh, Turquoise that has a little bit of a sparkle to it. And you can see his secondary color, which is Aquas's primary color, the deep royal blue, 
is not sparkly, so it's completely backwards. But that makes back or flip back gun mostly sparkly. I think that's pretty cool. So here is our 600G Aqua Spindle. Uh, I don't entirely need a, an Aqua Spindle gun of this G power. I have things that are uh, more useful, I believe. I have my Aqua uh, case right here. We can break it out and see. This is just where I keep my most important Aquas back on. With, of course, one crystal at the end, which decided to pop open. Hello, Dull Elephant. One of, like, four in this case. So, 600, that would be around this Aquas Various here. This Aquas Various is 600Gs as well. Now, the reason I might prefer to have this Aquas Various in my Aquas case is because I have another one just like it. Uh, and the reason that is relevant at all, this one is 710 Gs, much stronger, is that with using two nearly identical uh, uh, Baku Core Aquas Variuses, I could keep my opponent guessing as to which one I am using, the stronger one or the weaker one. Um, that can be changed, though. I already have a Various, and I might change my mind about that and choose to use the Spindle in my Aquas case. I will make that decision later. It'll add some color because I only have one other backer for the Aquas Bakugan, which is a 750G Atmos. So next for us to look at, which I'm looking forward to very much, is this Cosmic Ingram. Now before I even look at the G power, I'm going to close him up. This almost looks like a Gundalian Invader because of how dark this Ventus is. How glossy it is. This looks like a, a Baku Legacy uh, Cosmic Ingram. And especially with certain angles, it makes that Ventus symbol look like a black sticker. So it honestly threw me off at first. Uh, but this is an absolutely beautiful Ventus Bakugan from the outside. So let's bring up the card and see how well it stands. Cosmic Ingram generally is a very reliable Bakugan and generally stand with ease. Let's see. It looks perfect. I'll do one more distance to roll. Perfect. Take out his uh, manuals, which are his bottom wings. This Ingram is just absolutely stunning. The dark green for this back of flip Ventus, accented by the light green details, and the red eyes and the red feathers on his bottom wings look amazing. This is a big reason I wanted this pack. Yeah, Ventus is only my third favorite attribute after Subterra and firstly Chaos. And Cosmic Ingram is never a back gun that I use, use very often. But this is just absolutely beautiful. I hope that I decide to add this into my Ventus case. Because I would love to see this every time I open it. So now I'm going to take the G Power sticker off and see what we're working with. Here it comes. Whoa. Okay, so this is a 690G Cosmic Ingram. That is amazing. Honestly, I could never have imagined or asked for a better G power for this Bakugan. There is a bronze card. Uh, that is mostly for Ventus. It is called Super Phantom. It makes it, it gives Ventus plus 200 Gs, but the effect of this bronze card is that Bakugan with 700 Gs or more do not get a gate bonus. So I'd like to use high 600s Ventus Bakugan, such as a, a Obris or my standard uh, Hawk Leo, which is 670 Gs as well. But this is now my highest uh, 600G 
Ventus back gone. So that's actually amazing. I was expecting this to be in the 500s, as many Cosmic Ingrams are, or maybe low 600s. But 690 is an amazing G power for this. I will absolutely be adding this back gone in with my Ventus case. I cannot wait for that. Lastly, we have this Mega Brontes. I saw his G power is uncovered now, but I try my hardest not to look at it. He seems a little loose. A little loose when he's closed. That's okay. Mega Brontes, uh can be hit or miss with how reliable he is. I've had extremely reliable ones, and I've had some that uh, eventually just lose their ability to stay closed. Yeah, his, his tail flap here is also a little loose, but overall, let's look at this Bakugan. It is absolutely beautiful. Chaos is my favorite attribute, and I would say that my favorite uh, Baku flip attribute aesthetically would also be Chaos. Followed by Ventus, of course, like that Hawklea, which was absolutely beautiful. But uh, here we have Mega Brontes. Probably my all-time favorite Bakugan, even more so than Alto Brontes. My, my first real partner was a Chaos and Mega Brontes, 700G. And uh, I know the G powers that Chaos and Mega Brontes can range from, but I've never seen a Baku flip one. So I am going to roll this now, and we will uh, open it up and see what we are working with with this Bakugan's G-Power. Oh, that was perfect. So it stands perfectly. And this Brontes is a whopping 550 Gs. So that is relatively low. It's just low enough, in fact. I would not be too happy if it was 10 Gs higher. Of course, Chaos Bakugan are different than the other attributes, and sometimes you actually want them to be a lower G power, because most uh, cards that are meant for Chaos benefit the lower G Bakugan. 550 is just on that threshold. I uh, measure by a difference of 160 Gs for reasons I will not explain because I don't want to give away all my secrets, but uh, basically 160 Gs more than this Alto Bron uh, Mega Brontes sorry, is 710 Gs, which is kind of very standard for a uh, competitive New Vestroya hand. There will always be a Bakugan that is at least uh, 710 Gs. Uh, that is like the lowest you will find as a strong back gun as on someone's team. So that is perfect. I am not upset about this uh, low G power at all. I think it's very interesting. I think it adds variety because I have a standard Chaos Mega Brontes that is 700 Gs. And uh, now I have a weaker one. And looking at the inside of this Brontes is very interesting. Because you can see all his accents, such as his hands, his uh, shoulder pads, these accents, these gold accents on his chest, and his uh, on his side as well, and on his eyes, on his mask, are all a glossy bronze, which is actually what you would uh, expect to see on a uh, Baku bronze subterra Bakugan. I would not expect to see these colors on a Chaos. So that's interesting. I wonder if that's a flaw. I doubt it. I'm sure it's just an interesting design choice. So with all of these back gone together, we have six hundred and ninety G Ventus Cosmic Ingram slash Hawklea. 550G Chaos Mega Brontes and 600G Spindle. I'm very pleased with this starter pack, both the cards and the Bakugan. I'm very happy to be owning all of these. And that makes the video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.